Well, millions of Americans are going on at least one vacation this summer, so with that, safety and security precautions are a must. Here with us with some safety tips for homeowners during the summer season is John Pascal with the Better Business Bureau. Thanks so much for being here with us, John. Certainly. All right, there are a couple of things that we know we need to take care of when we're getting ready to leave town, you know, the obvious things, but there are some things that people don't necessarily think of or some simple things that they don't do uh, when leaving. When we go on trips, typically most people think about, you know, setting the alarms or uh, lights or do well, they come on automatically and this type of thing, the yard, the sprinkler. But a lot of times we don't think about making sure that our homes are locked and secure if we're going to be away for five minutes, ten minutes, an hour, going to the store. It's not something that we often think about. Some people do it automatically, but it is something that we need to be careful about. Uh, one thing that is very common now that maybe you and I didn't even have to talk about when, as we were growing up, and that's what we put on Facebook, Twitter, and social media. Very true. We're very, uh, we want to share, we like to share pictures, the fun we're having, the great vacation we're having. Not everybody that's on Facebook and Twitter wants or has our best interest at heart. It is very easy for burglars or other people to realize well, they're yeah. not in Texas. They're not home. They'll be gone for a week. Hmm. This, these are things we need to be careful about. We want to share that good information, but be careful about and be watchful for what you do share that you might be gone for a period of time. Also, you mentioned this um, earlier. Always lock your doors. It's a simple thing, but sometimes we don't do that. We don't, and often uh, burglars or those who, who want to break into a car or a house are going to look for the easy target. Maybe just locking the door, making it a little bit more difficult for them, they'll go on to the next house or the next neighborhood, possibly. Also, um, our surroundings or things around your home play a part as well. We don't often think about it, but keeping the bushes or hedges trimmed, that's just security for us when we are at home or when we're gone. Those are things that if they're not kept trimmed or places where burglars can hide, or uh, conceal themselves. And a major one, John, was the alarms. I mean, make sure that those are working, right? Certainly. Check those out. Have your alarm company uh, uh, maybe come out and check those. And then, uh, you know, make sure that they're in good working order. The smoke alarms and the carbon monoxide, those are just great things to have in the home, whether you're there or not, to make sure those fumes and gases don't build up or that if uh, there is a break-in, that the alarm company is notified. All right. Thanks, John. Some easy yes, tips and uh, some good tips and very easy to do. Right. We appreciate it. And for more information on the, the tips that John mentioned, you can go to the BBB's website and the information is there on your screen. Stay with us. We're back in a moment.